Welcome back to Real Virginia, everyone. We're coming to you this week from Amory Seafood in Hampton, Virginia, one of many marinas where watermen head out to fish Virginia's waters. But the blue catfish is eating up many of the crabs, oysters, and other seafood that Virginians have come to enjoy. Catfishing begins in the early morning darkness on the Pamunkey River in New Kent County for fishermen Chris Von Hatten and Christopher Whitmire. They get on the water at 3 a.m. and work until midday, hoping to catch three to 4,000 pounds of catfish before heading back to shore. By daybreak, the fish are definitely still biting, but these watermen and many others are concerned that the catfish are eating up the other species in these rivers that lead to the Chesapeake Bay, making those other fish, oysters, crabs, and clams more scarce. I mean, from the crabber's point of, point of view, it's drastically reduced the amount of crabs, I mean, same with the shad, American shad, and the eels. I mean, there used to be plenty of eels in this river, and not so many anymore. Wild blue catfish were stocked in the tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay in the 1970s and 80s as a trophy fish for recreational fishermen. Over the past 15 years, the blue catfish has thrived to the point that they've eaten into the population of many other species in Virginia waters. I mean, they go all the way down, yeah, to the Chesapeake Bay, down toward, you know, like Gloucester. People have been catching them down there in gill nets. I know down in Buckrow, on Buckrow Beach, they've been catching them on fishing poles. Catfish are able to go into salt water, but they eventually need to be back in fresh water, such as the Pamunkey River, which leads to the York River, which leads to the Chesapeake Bay. The bay itself is an estuary where fresh water from the rivers mixes with salt water from the Atlantic Ocean. We're kind of on the precipice of what I would say is a, a catastrophic event in our seafood economy because of the blue catfish. They're literally consuming literally anything they can get into their mouth and they're doing it very effectively. So while it has become this massive ecological and socioeconomic concern, they also happen to taste really good. And there lies the silver lining in the blue catfish problem. They have more flavor than what most people think catfish tastes like. A lot of people receive the word catfish as being a bottom feeder. It doesn't have that good, sweet, firm, white meat like the wild blue catfish does. And it's perception that you got to get over that hurdle and put it in your mouth and try it. It was a great product, white, firm, sweet meat, high in protein and low in fat. Many Virginia restaurants also have started offering blue catfish on their menus. Scrimp Shack is one here from D.C. down in North Carolina. It's 13 to 15 of those, and they put it on as a seasonal item last year and this year. And they have the same thing. It's introducing it to the public and what it is and perceived as just not catfish. Despite the blue catfish's voracious appetite, not everyone believes they're bad for Virginia's seafood industry. It's a new fishery, it creates jobs for watermen, boat companies, fuel companies, gear companies, distribution companies, trucking companies, packaging companies, food service, retail, and restaurants. The inspection process for blue catfish moved from the Food and Drug Administration to the U.S. Department of Agriculture and that has led to a shortage of processing facilities for these watermen to take the catfish that they catch. The thing with processing it, you got a 75% yield loss. You only recover 20 to 25% yield of it because of the body, belly content, and the big head and stomach on it. So that, you know, even though they say they get 60, 70 cent a pound at the dock on, the watermen really can't work for less than that with the cost of fuel, boats, equipment, and transportation. Van Houten and his crew are able to fish in the fresh waters of the Pamunkey River, but he would like to bring in more than just catfish. American shad, American eel, your uh, rockfish, striped bass. All those fish do come up here to spawn. And, well, as soon as they have their little babies, I mean, you got your vacuum cleaner going around eating them. I mean, it needs to be removed out of here because, I mean, if it does start to take over at a certain point, all those fish species can't survive. Those who have studied the catfish problem believe the invasive species is here to stay. The question is how best to manage them in order to maintain the ecologic diversity of the Chesapeake Bay and its rivers and tributaries. Seafood lovers can do their part by ordering blue catfish at restaurants and buying them at local grocery stores. On the Pamunkey River in New Kent County, I'm Burke Moeller for Rio, Virginia.